What's good, YouTube? It's your main man, ABD Hero, back again with another video. Um, in today's video, this might be a video where y'all get to tell your boy AB, I told you so. Because um, we got a little message, cryptic message from my dog LaMelo Ball about how he's feeling on that playtime situation. And I think y'all might have been right. AB the Hero, back at it, baby. all right all right all right so within the hornets organization right now which each one of these games there is a large contingent of people who no matter what the stat line is for Lamelo, the one thing that they most concerned about is the minutes played we want to see more minutes we want to see more minutes we want to see more minutes we'll have games where your boy Lamelo will be 20 points eight boards seven assists played 25 minutes and there's a strong contingent of people who want to see the 35 minute mark for him 30 to 35 minutes at the bare minimum me i'm the guy who like yo as long as the production is there as long as the w is there i'm, I'm cool with the development happening when my guy's getting the quality minutes, not the quantity of minutes. I wanna see him closing out games like he did uh, a couple nights ago in 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 um, versus the Bucks. That's what I want more than third quarter, I don't care. I don't care what happens, but I see y'all saying, nah, the, the minutes, because I, I realize it makes sense. You get an extra five points. You play them extra seven minutes. You might get two boards. You might get five points. Um, it, there's a lot of opportunity that can happen, which raises those statistics up, which inevitably raises the amount of money that you're going to make. Now, we go over here and we look at this post from my guy Lamelo. It's a it's a picture of Kevin Durant and it says, let me die out there. Underneath the caption is Kevin Durant when asked whether he's concerned about playing heavy minutes. LaMelo Ball captions this, no cap. To me, that's a direct response to the minutes conversation of, do you want to play more minutes? And this probably to me is a direct response to a coaching staff who's saying, bro, we're trying to save you. It's an 82 game season. We want you to let me die out there. You can go back to Chino Hills, you go back to JBA, you go back to JBA USA, and the man LaMelo Ball is used to not ever coming out of the game. Like, almost dying, you got literally almost dying before coming out of the game. Um, 48 minutes when they were in the JBA, he was playing. Uh, 30 minutes or whatever you play in high school, he's used to doing all of that stuff. So I can see how in a 48 minute game, if you only play 25 minutes, 25 of those minutes, um, that might be frustrating to you. So I can see that. But I think the bigger acknowledgement that I, I have here and what I want folks to realize is kind of cool about the era that we live in is you get an opportunity where we can see and hear these players express themselves um, outside of the, the, the typical realms of the media, right? You don't necessarily have to wait until LaMelo gets asked that question by the media, because oftentimes they won't do it. Oftentimes they're trying to mend and build relationships. So you might have media folks sitting there with them with the, ooh, a burning question, and they won't ask that question if it's not allowed by the organization, by the association as a whole. So you get a LaMelo ball, you see it with LeBron James, who can get very cryptic, but this is, to me, is not even cryptic. This is just a straight up, hey, this is where I feel. Um, I think there was a while back, I can't remember it offhand, but when we came to the conversation of him being pulled at fourth quarters for Ishmith, we got some information from him as well in that way. I want to say that one of the most cool things that I've seen from an athlete in a long time, I don't know if y'all have seen this or not, but I'm going to pub this for y'all, is uh, back when Cam Newton got released from the Patriots and he was waiting to, you know what I mean, get a job. He took it so far as being an athlete that was going to like get hit, make sure his side of the story was out. He got a whole production crew and basically got his dad to interview him. And then which they, uh, and which 
they then released this where he basically told his side of the story how he felt about what was happening in new england and then they kind of jumped the media in order to do that i think when we see what just happened with antonio brown and what the bucks initially released and we saw his story be able to trickle out based on podcasts that he was on instagram posts social media posts people we just really got an opportunity to hear the athlete's story so i do think that we're in this cool time where we get to hear from these athletes it ain't the speculation is not necessarily have to be there as much as it used to when folks can come out and just say what they want to say and then we can hear straight from the horse's mouth Shemay man, ABD Hero, we getting up out of here. Hero. No, not peace, plus one, triple B's, we out.